so in this video we are going to you know, so far we have you know our form set up and we are able to handle the form submit function we need to write the save logic okay um, let us quickly go to our uh, function in, in here okay what are we going to do the first thing is let post data equals an object in which uh, what are the things uh, which we are expecting see um, the receiver ID the receiver underscore ID will be this dot PM dot user selected dot ID okay then we have the message which is going to be this dot PM dot message and then the subject subject is again going to be this oops dot pm dot subject so we have this object ready to be sent uh, this dollar store let's call that function what dispatch uh, send private message and we'll send the post to data and then we are going to handle something which we will see let first let's create the you know this mess uh, this send private message method in our private message store what do we have here uh, send set user message create private message okay we will create the mess method here we will have commit and comma the post data so the first thing is do we have a config for that save chat message url yes no this is save chat right that is different get private messages so we don't have that in here below this we'll have send private message url let's see if we have already created the api save chat send private message so this is going to be our url by the way that was my laravel api.php file so in case you get confused okay i have this we need to import in our store right and then in this function let us come back we will have return not http now this is a post call send private message url okay we are going to send the post data which is this and the headers right so let us save the typing and then in response what do we do in response we'll do a commit we'll name it send private message response body data return the response how have we done this return then everywhere uh, user store the body right so in here also return body dot data okay so we have this return and this return send private messages here i'm calling this and in response i'll get the message so let's now write this mutation although i don't think i'll need that actually i will require that so basically i need to push it to the send messages so what i'm going to do is in here i just uh, got a little lost so sorry about that so i'll do this send and then the message and yeah so what we are going to do is state dot messages sent dot push message uh, yeah 
that should be all send private message this is the mutation which i'm going to commit from here the entire message okay and yeah so next what do we want to do once we have a response so let's say this dot dollar router dot push name my pms so it is going to take me to the inbox let's check if things are working i have saved everything and i'll need to send it to foo hi foo food okay i guess i'm hungry so let's do a send i get an internal error which is what sender id cannot be null okay that means my laravel code is not working properly sender id receiver id ah, that's strange the sender id should not be something which i'm taking from the user it should be request user id okay because i'm passing the token right so i don't need to send all those information uh, okay now i think the message was saved let me see my my sql pro yes this is saved something wrong happened uh where cannot read path of undefined which means history dot push it is doing something at the router which is wrong this dollar router push name and this is my pms what happened my pms right router 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 where is the name oh so this is pm and i'm doing an s that is the reason it is failing so hit refresh again i'm going to send it to foo checking again checking again and i send it that's strange let me refresh it nicely and check Hmm. Uh, okay let me quickly fix this problem i think the save is working but somehow the router is not redirecting me to the inbox hmm. this is compose oh damn so i need to take this i think now i have solved the problem let's see refresh foo correct all right so we have that in this send we can see all the you know messages which means they are being pushed and in the inbox oh sorry i don't i won't be able to see that in my inbox obviously um to log in to a different browser so incognito this url paste it here this is the credentials login and in my private messages i have all these things in my inbox right so yeah these are done only thing is uh, by default are they all red no they are not and if i click so that message is read so we need to handle that but otherwise you know uh, this is kind of done so let us quickly handle the red status I'll come here let's go to sublime private message inbox okay this is my inbox and hmm. this is here uh, why don't we oh okay i think i have not created the styling that is the problem mm, i should have a css variables and global 
so unread put it here somewhere this is not sidebar okay font weight is bold uh, yeah so this is coming properly check and then i go to inbox again that is fixed check again go to inbox again and this yeah so yeah we have you know the working copy where if i want to send as user foo i want to send it to amitav Hi, amitav doing and i send the message now obviously i need to yeah i'll have to you know kind of do the request right now this is not instant i am going to handle that in the future videos which is going to be the real time you know notifications and messages but yeah so i'm getting this message with a you know unread status because it is bold i click here i go back and the status is changing so yeah that's uh, mainly how you know we are going to handle our private message functionality with vue.js the socket uh, and the real time implementation is pending i'm going to handle those in the you know upcoming videos so yeah stay tuned and thanks for watching guys if you like the videos do click on the thumbs up icon and don't forget to subscribe to my channel